Hi Virgos, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. How about we start with a happy birthday? Soon it's gonna be the solar return of all the Virgos. Right now on the 16th, or is, yeah, we're in the 16th, right? It, the sun is in 29 degrees in Leo. So here we go. We're moving out of Leo and welcoming the Virgo season. Mm -hmm. So this is the real placement when I'm talking about sidereal. When you look at the sun, what zodiac it is in, it's in Leo and it's going to move to Virgo. I didn't create this system. I didn't change anything in your life. You were just reading what we call Western. Mm -hmm. And we don't follow that here. Thank you. So let's begin. Okay. So I, I do sidereal reading together with my tarot. So this might not be for you. You may not like this kind of system, but the accuracy of this kind of reading, because I match the planet, is crazy. I also do, don't do timeless because timeless is useless. I study astrology so we can predict the timing of events. Short and sweet is the message. Let's just be direct. 40 minutes of going around in circles in a reading is useless. Queen of Swords. Mm. Cutting off a person, removal of a person, and telling a person that I am worth more than what you're giving. That's the Queen of Swords. Currently, right now, you have Venus and Libra in your second house, which only means that the way that you are talking to people or interacting to a person can be very much logical. Like, it's very much, what do I get? What do I receive? Because this is what I'm giving. And that is what Venus does. And Venus in its own home. So you're just basically telling the truth. You're not, you know, you're not overstepping on anyone, Virgo. You're just being direct. Okay? Mars and Mercury. Mercury is exalted in your own zodiac. Excuse me. The only planet that is exalted in their own zodiac. And Mars, of course, being the planet of action. So now you're saying, I want to take action. I want to make move. Okay, like what, uh, you know, like what um, people always, uh, you know, question me if I, when I, when I talk about Queen Bee, she has four, five, I think, five planets in Virgo, Ascendant, all this stellium, everything is there, 28 degrees, this and that, oh my god, like such a strong um, zodiac, okay, let me see, nine of swords over here, now this is not your card, this is the card of the people that you are removing from your life. Okay, so you're becoming a queen bee over here, queen of swords. And of course, um, it does uh, show to other people because Venus will aspect your eighth house. It would look into Aries and, you know, you finally see their secret. And then for this person, they're just ashamed for being called out, nine of swords. Mm -hmm. So in the words, this is where, um, you know, a million dollar goes down in the elevator shaft. So you're pulling a Solange, okay? <laughs> Okay, but you are the the queen bee and the Solange in itself. Three of Swords. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Solange, Solange. Okay, remember that scene in the elevator? This is where it's going. Your relationship is going down. Okay. I'm not making fun of you. I'm reading the cards. Yeah. Okay, but what you are doing is you're go going up while this relationship that was dragging you down is gonna be gone does it make sense so this relationship is not helping you for your growth there are different people in our life that can help us this person is not one of those <laughs> okay here we go the moon okay now the moon right now is in your fifth house it's in capricorn two and a half days it's gone you know it moves fast but what is it in the fifth house this is where we fall in love this is where you realize, I fall in love with you. Why did you do this to me? Well, all the planets now are aligned and it's showing you the truth. When the sun moves and it's a, your solar return, the sun enlightens everything. So everything done in the dark mm -hmm, cannot be hidden anymore by the moon because the sun will enter. That's why they say the sun will come out tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. Oh, no. I think that's a different song. So now that the, everything is revealed, the moon and the tree of swords over here, there is a spark of breakup. Mars is a destructive planet. Mm -hmm. It will aspect your eighth and it will aspect and also aspecting your seventh house. So it's asking right now 
to remove this partnership so you can build a new one. So let's see what other things that this person has kept a secret from you. Three of Swords, Nine of Swords, the Moon card that you have found out. Link down there in the description box below for Extended. This is a short and sweet. It says short and sweet. So it's very short. Thank you. I'll see you guys again. Bye.